the TV store. We're using it for a real situation. It's summer, it's the school holidays. So if it is sunny tomorrow, you know, we really could go to the beach. Um, Maybe likely. It's not hypothetical. We're not imagining. It's something that perhaps likely it can be sunny in the summer. Okay, maybe less so in England than other places, but yes, it can be summer. So it is something that's likely. Um, and then for number three, what we're looking at particularly today is for specific plans. We're not talking about something in general. So if it's sunny, we play outside, that would be zero conditional. And it's formed in a different way. And it's for things in general, or as I said earlier, scientific rules often use it. Okay, let's have a look. We've looked at, we've looked at um, what we use it for. Let's have a quick look at how we make it. I'm going to make this a bit bigger because it's a bit small <clears throat> so you can see it more easily. Um, I'll take my name off as well because that's getting in the way. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, when you have a conditional sentence, we often think about it as having two clauses, two halves. We have the if clause, which has if in it, we have the other clause, which is the other one. Um, we're going to use those terms today. So thinking about this first conditional, we use the present tense. Do we use it in the if clause or the other clause? Number one. Number two, do we use will future forms in the if clause or in the other clause? Can we use modal verbs or imperatives in the if clause or the other clause? Um, and can we use unless... Um, unless in the if clause or the other clause. And there are some examples there that might help you. Please put what you think the answers are into the comments. Okay? If you have just joined us, this is a live grammar class from BBC Learning English. It's just time for me to mention that actually, if you want more practice afterwards, we do have a worksheet and there should be a link appearing in the comments at some point um, that will take you to this worksheet should you want to get more practice. Um, but let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Lored, um, ooh, loads of coming from here. Loredana is saying that the if clause, the number one, we use a present tense in the if clause. Uda is also agreeing there with Loredana. Um, I wonder if you do. I certainly do. Okay, you'll notice that in the if clause, after the if, even though we're talking about the future, uh, in a lot of these examples, we use the present tense. If it's sunny today, that's is, which is obviously a present tense. If it's sunny today. Okay. What about the will future? Where do we put the will future? Let's have a look in the comments. Um, oh, we've got loads of us, lots of people asking all the questions. Um, let's see who's put one for number two. Number two. Oh, okay. Let's see at the moment. Um, Huda has said for number two, the other clause. Do you agree with Huda? What do you think for the other clause? Uh, amor, amor. Great name. Says it's another clause. Um, let's see. Yes, we use the will future. We use it in the other clause. So if it's sunny tomorrow, we'll go to the beach. We will. It's the contraction. We'll go to the beach. So that's the will future that we're using in the other clause, not the one that has if in it. Okay, really important that it's not the clause that has if in it that has the will in it. Okay, number three was can you use modal verb or where would you use a modal verb or an imperative? And we've got two examples there. Uh, for number three, what do you think? Do remember, if you miss anything, the um, whole class will be, the replay will be up on our Facebook and YouTube channels as soon as we finish, so you can always watch through. Okay, let's have a look. And we've got an answer for number three. Bertha, or Bertha, Bertha, is saying the other clause, number three, for the modal verbs and imperatives. Uh, Kim is saying the same thing, um, as is Lynn. Okay, let's have a quick look. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> um, it should be in the other clause. Sorry, there's a mistake on my slide there. Um, we use it in the other clause. As you can see, <clears throat> if it's sunny tomorrow, go early. Um, that's an imperative. Okay, maybe there's not many parking spaces. So if it's sunny tomorrow, go early. So we definitely, we use it in the other clause. Please use for the mistake there. Um, we've got a we've got a modal verb there. If it's sunny tomorrow, we might go to the beach. If it's sunny tomorrow, we might go to the beach. Okay. So we're not saying it's definite there. Instead of will, we're using might, but it's still this idea of a realistic um, plan for the future. Okay. We might go to the beach. Okay. And number four, 
Wilma is saying number four is the if clause for unless. Um, any others for number four? Lynn is saying the other clause. Um, let's see what else we've got for number four. See lots of new comments coming in. Um, arithmetic nature, good name, is <laughs> saying the other clause. Yes. Well, let's have a look. Unless, as Lynn said, it goes in the if clause. We actually use unless instead of if, and it's like a negative. It's like if not. So we've got the example, unless it rains tomorrow, is the same as saying if it's sunny in a way. Unless is like if not. So we can use unless instead of if. I know it's a bit confusing. We call it the if clause and if isn't there. But unless, it's kind of like if not. So unless it rains tomorrow, we'll go to the beach. So unless we use in the if clause. Okay, great, right. That's quite a lot of talking from me. I think I need to hand this over to you because I've got some more questions for you. So you can test yourselves. Um, have a look here. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller. <clears throat> We've got three sentences here. If it's warm on Saturday, we could have or have a picnic. Could have or have a picnic. Uh, number two, we'll go for a walk at the weekend unless it rains or rained. If it rains or rained. Number three, if it was or if it is nice, if it's nice, we'll play football on Sunday. So first conditional, what do you think the answers to these are? Okay. If If you have just joined us, this is a live grammar class from BBC Learning English, and I'm Phil. Remember, if you've missed anything, the replay will be up on Facebook and YouTube as soon as we finish. But do please, if you're watching now, join in in the comments, invite anyone who you know. And do remember, there is a worksheet where you can get. So today we could have or we have a picnic. Peace. I like. Warm on Saturday, we could have a picnic. And as he's saying, being warm on Saturday is possible and likely. Certainly, if you've seen the weather forecast around Europe recently, it could be warm on Saturday. So if it's warm on Saturday, we could have a picnic. It's a modal verb there, like we looked at. Number two, we'll go for a walk at the weekend unless it rains or unless it rained. What do you think? Think about what we just talked about. What should it be for number two? Um, Mint saying rains. Rain. Sue is saying rains. Rain. Chasley is also saying at the weekend. Oh, said rain. Rains. Rain. Um, the use of rain. Rain. brilliant. Okay. Some of the past people, yeah. Oh, rain, do people, yeah. Oh, all <laughs> you guys have got this. It's brilliant. Don't yes, rains. we can go for a walk at the weekend. Weekend. It drains. This present tense. Weekdays, yeah. Unless it. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, you don't need my. Nice job, Thomas. No time to you, sir. No time, man. We've got rains. If it was or if. If it is nice, if it was, or if it's nice, we'll play football. It was. It's football on Sunday. Three, I see. It's from Sassy Khan. Uh, Khan saying it. On Sunday. It was nice. It is. Jamuru saying it's. Um, was it's lots saying it's lots of people saying it's it's but you're doing really well here. We'll or weed, we'll go swimming unless we it's too won't. cold tomorrow. We'll go swimming unless, unless it's too it's cold. Too tomorrow. I think I'm giving you the answer there. Sorry, yeah, number four, we'll, we'll go swimming unless it's too cold tomorrow. We'll. Yes, it's present, is we'll. using the will future. Oh, okay. You'll notice that we can tomorrow. swap. The uh, clause is round. Sorry, number four, I shouldn't have given you the answer. Number five, if it's sunny tomorrow, wear some sunscreen or should wear some sunscreen? And number six, I won't 
or I wouldn't work this weekend That's if great. the weather's good. What do you think for numbers five and six? What do you think the answer should be? Stick it in the comments. Should wear. Okay. Should wear. Stanislav going in straight away. Should wear for number should five. War. Should wear. Should wear. Um, let's see what else for number. Sue is agreeing there. Oh. Number uh, for number five. Oh, word. Kiev is word. saying won't for word. number six. Word. I think that is. Um, all the answers together. So we've got wheel, should wear, and wouldn't. Uh, Fanny is saying here. Have a look in a minute to see. Uh, should wear. Where's from focus. I won't from coffee. Coffee. Okay. Let's have a look. Where? Okay. Lots of answers coming in. Um, word. If it's sunny word. tomorrow, wear word. some sunscreen. sunscreen. Okay, that's an imperative, is an instruction. That's quite important. If it's sunny tomorrow, wear some sunscreen. Okay, so we can use imperatives in the first condition. If it's sunny tomorrow, wear some sunscreen. Number six, had a couple of different answers. Number six, I won't work this weekend if the weather's good. Again, we're talking about a real possible situation, the weather being good. Uh, I could say, I wouldn't work again if I won the lottery. That's also the classic example of the second conditional, which is something hypothetical. But this isn't that. We're talking about the first conditional for future plans. So we use the present tense, won't, which is will. Um, we use the will future, sorry, which is will not. I well, won't work this weekend well, if well, the weather's well. good. Fantastic. Okay, I think it's time to uh, hand over to you guys. I'm going to ask you a question. What will you do? We're talking about what we think is likely, that we think is possible. Okay, so maybe those of you who are in the southern hemisphere, maybe it's not likely to be nice this weekend, but for a lot of people, it's summer. It could, you could have nice weather this weekend. What will you do? We've got the will of the future will you there. If the word is okay, this is a live grammar lesson from BBC Learning English. Don't forget that you can always get more practice on the uh, worksheet, which you can get from the uh, link that's in the comments. Also, don't forget that we're going to read the replay of this lesson will be on our Facebook and YouTube feeds as soon as it's finished. So you can always look back and watch again and share that with your friends if you want to. OK, let's see if we've got some, what people are saying. What are people saying they will be doing if the weather's nice this weekend? Um, people is going to go to the beach. I'll go to the beach if the weather.